We'll start very shortly. We're just still getting ready here for the this awesome stream today. <laughs> We're just setting up behind the scenes. Um, the let me test here. Yeah. All right, we got the chat Ooh. going in here. Yeah, and then YouTube just sent the notification, but we'll see probably another little increase. So, Gali, if you want on the chat uh, tab, you yep. can just highlight, you can just press on any of those, which are going like, really fast. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you guys are chatting really fast. Um, oh my goodness, this is going so fast. Oh, yeah. Gali, you froze. Are you there? Yeah, I can see that I'm frozen. Hold on. It's a, and it's not cold over there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dad. You're dad so joke. funny. Oh, I know why it is. Hold on. Hold hey, on. everyone. Wow, look at this. Got a crazy amount of people going crazy in the chat. We'll start shortly, guys. Give us one minute. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. How do you guys like our very free type of music? <laughs> Got right. chose. I'm so frozen, right? Am I frozen yeah. on your end? Yeah, me too. That's weird. All right, hold on. Let me let me come back in. Pull it off the link. And it's actually me too. Really? I'm looking at the live feed on my phone, and I am with a smile, thank goodness, and you too. Yeah, we're frozen. Okay, hold on. I'm going to turn off my camera. Okay. Wow, that's weird. We're having some, maybe this server is having some issues. That's the first time. Okay, Gadi, so I see you there. But your image is not in just yet. Yeah, I just have to turn myself on. Okay, that was like a different Gadi there. Yeah, there was, there was a ghost tally. What is going on? All right, now... I can see myself. I am a little frozen though. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we just go and you guys let us know in the comments if you can, can't see us at all. Yeah, that's definitely. Oh no. Laggy. Okay. Well, guess what? If you guys can hear us, we're just going to go with the audio for the sake of making sure that we respect your time, everyone for coming and joining us. So, yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. We'll do audio, so but weird. don't start. We'll, we'll be figuring it out as we go, but we'll start right away just to get you guys going. Um, Marcos, is your camera off or are you camera on? My camera is on, but... Okay, you're fine. So I'll just talk if you can hear me. Is that good? Yeah. All right. So shall we get started? Yes. All right. So... Sorry for the technical difficulties, everybody, but we are back with our weekly live show. And it's awesome to see how many of you are. I think that may have a small thing to do with why we're glitching so bad, but we'll get on that quickly. <laughs> um, and so we have a really exciting show today. It's gonna be a little different and we're hoping to keep doing this. Um, we have an awesome professional animator, Luis, and he is here he's going to give you guys all a live tutorial um and he's really going to level up your animation so if you're looking to improve your skills this is the guy um yeah and so we are going to just hang out for another minute and then connect him 
Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate you guys uh, joining us. Sorry that I don't know what's going on with the uh, uh, the stream, but Gadi and I are in different uh, states, <laughs> so definitely it's not our internet connection. It was perfectly fine, but we'll do our best. The most important thing that you're not, you don't need to see us. We're, we're going to introduce Luis, our uh, Emmy Award winner, our winning animator. And so we're super excited to bring him in. So I'm going to bring you in, Luis. And maybe his camera is much better than ours. Kali, try to turn on your camera so people can see you. I don't want to. I. Okay, so. I'm going to. Hello. Come back Hello, people. In. So you set up with him. My page is unresponsive. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Actually, you can Kali, hear you go ahead and yeah. your, your browser completely and then come on in and then whenever you can. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So, Luis, Hi. thank you so much for, for coming and joining us. Uh, we are all excited in the Flip a Clip team uh, for, for you to come and, and show us, you know, uh, some hacks and and, and a tutorial to, to you know, it, for us to improve our animation skills. We've sent service out to people in the past and we ask, you know, what's your animation skill? And most of them will say, well, I kind of know animation, but I'd like to get better. And this is a great opportunity to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, Flip a Clip or this Flip a Clip Hangout is just to be super chill where we're all working really hard all day. And then we decide to go get a cup of coffee and yes. let's just chat. <laughs> so I want people to get to know you before you jump in and, and doing this animation. Um, so, you know, Kadi will join us in a minute, but I know that Kadi is the one who found you uh, on, on Instagram. Yes, on Instagram, yes. So, um, and then I'm super excited to, to share with people to, to see the results that one of our guys, Adrian, and our team um he doesn't know how to animate in fact i don't even know how to uh, do drawing <laughs> animation i can animate motion graphics but i can't do anything with drawing Hand -drawn, and yeah. adrian nah, he can't do either um and so it was so cool to see all of his uh animations and he sent it to me so i can share it with you guys really quick and you should be proud luis because this is you know your your student basically yeah, uh, see, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so let me let me uh, pull this up really quick. But um, oh, let me see. I'm gonna share my screen, and then where is it? Oh, I don't see it. Well, in the meantime, oh, there we go. So check this out, guys. Um, let me turn on the share screen. So Adrian sent me the the projects. Uh, to share with you guys. So today, th this is going to be really cool. So this first one, when he shared this with me, of a leaf falling, and I'm like, I see the timing, and I see, you know, it, it doesn't yeah. have to be like a piece of art, <laughs> but he copied that, and he and he learned that directly from you. Yes. So tell yeah, us so about you and your, uh, your, your background while I show people. So my my background is uh, well. I have been an animator for a very long time, and I'm almost afraid to say how long. Uh, <laughs> for what twenty something years now, uh, professionally, I started in 1995. Wow. But I have been doing animation since I was six years old. So I discovered like how to do, or not discover. Somebody showed me how to do animation when I was like six years old, and I, as soon as I did it for the first time i was like completely hooked and then i just couldn't stop and all my uh school books became flip books i actually have some of those old flip books i do still have them because that's like a treasure to me but that's when i started i started when i was six years old and then i um, i have this great career in animation i'm from panama originally when i moved to the u.s uh, I moved to New York and then uh, through my work, I was able to participate in the Emmy Awards and the Promax Awards and then uh, win some of those, which is very, very, very cool uh, to be able to do that. But then uh, a couple of years ago, just pre-pandemic, I wanted to, um, 
if, if I could start so early in life, I thought maybe other people can start early too. And right. They don't need to go to like school to start, you know, learning animation. They can do it right away. So, uh, so yeah, I developed this system. It's a online uh, video course where uh, it goes from the very basic and it progressively goes advancing and it's short uh, lessons, but they teach you like the principles of animation and, and anybody can do it. So what you were showing there is part of, of those lessons where I teach how to use motion paths and how to use all kinds of things uh, in order to <laughs> create animation. Yeah, and, that will be one of <laughs> one and, of the lessons. Obviously, it depends. Well, and when he, shared, when he shared this with me last year, yeah, uh, I'm like, okay, that's that's okay. I mean, I see a fish, and I was laughing. I'm like, oh, good job. <laughs> you're 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 just the beginner. But then he's like, oh, just wait. Look what else I did. You know? Yeah. And I'm like, wait, why you on fire? But then so the, there are different. I'm like, oh. Got me. It was just the, this, you know. I'm like, look yeah. at the timing on that. You know, and obviously, shadow. it depends. It depends. The result depends a lot on on the the experience that people have uh, drawing and and so on. But uh, but the animation part, the the lessons are about animation. I always make, and we were talking about this before, that I always make a distinction between software and animation. You can. You can learn any software, but if you don't learn the principles of animation, uh, you're very limited in the right. software, and you're and you're always looking for that uh, extra thing that you can't find because you don't have the um, the animation component. If you learn the principles, then you can take those principles to any software that you want, and your animation will be awesome. So, uh, learning just the software is part of it, but if you don't learn the principles of animation and the techniques, then you're very limited. Yeah, yeah. and, and I, I like what you're saying. You and I spoke a little bit this morning and, and you and I were agreeing on this, that it doesn't matter what app you use. We're, no. Today, what we're, what we're learning, yeah, there we're using Flip -a Clip to do this and Luis is using that, but really you can use any other uh, app. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more about learning and you, know, and you having fun. And, just to share with everyone, I don't think that we ever said it out loud uh, for you guys watching, but the the Flip -a Clips, um, basically Flip -a Clips mission, our mission is to make animation approachable, fun, and uplifting. So approachable in any, any way, you know, like Luis was mentioning, you know, what we're doing right now, it's approachable. It's, it's, it's just being there with you guys. We're the same as you uh, and, and then, there's people behind the app, but then animation, making it approachable. So super simple, as sim simple as you can get. And then fun because you're doing it and you're figuring something out. And uplifting is when you share, you feel proud of it and you want to share with your mom and dad or friends. I don't know. Absolutely. I'm going to switch the camera back to you because it's so much smoother on your end. Yeah. Oh, really? All the way in New Jersey. It may be. <laughs> so, okay. So let's just jump in directly. Is everybody ready to start animating and learning and, and sharpening your skills? Uh, we were talking with a, a team member, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Uh, and she was saying like, yeah, it's like the secret sauce. What is the secret sauce to, yeah. to you know, getting good at this? So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to share Luis. He has another screen. And there we go. And so what's really cool about this is that when Luis teaches his lessons, this is his method of doing it. He shows you directly his phone and yes. where his finger is going to go and do this. So what we're going to do, Luis, is we're going to let you talk, help, you know, bring us, give us a little context on, on what it is that we will try to accomplish today. Yeah. Uh, so, go uh, yeah. So um, what we're going to do today is a, it's a very simple animation, but like I say, uh, just because it's simple, doesn't have to be that it, it, it has what you're saying. It has some sauce in it, right? It, it can be simple, but it's still, you learn a lot from it. And the idea here is to learn from this. So what I'm going, I'm going to be doing is a short animation and it's not going to be a lot of frames, but we're going to learn some tricks about how to make um, certain certain effects or cer certain motions 
And also we're going to learn a little bit of uh, perspective, how to draw not not just flat, because most of the time I see like people trying to, to animate and they do like flat things. But this time we're going to give it a little more perspective. I'm going we're going to learn some tricks of drawing in perspective and animating in perspective. And then <clears throat> we're also going to be using uh, another technique that I developed with, with flip a clip that I use a lot is um, it's a softness. Flip a clip doesn't particularly have a um, like a gradient tool, but you can make gradients with this little trick that I'm going to show. So, um, so yeah, I've been using flip a clips for many years now and I've seen the app evolve. It has so much, so many more things now, but I developed this technique a while ago. So, uh, and, and I think it's a really cool, uh, way to accomplish those gradients. So those are the three things that we're going to be seeing today. So I don't know if, uh, if people, uh, everybody's ready, I can start whenever yeah, um, yes, whenever you guys yeah, want. Go for it. Go for it. All right. So let's begin. I'm, uh, I'm going to be a little far to this side because my table is right here. That's so okay. uh, let me just. That's okay because we're, we're focused on, on the main screen there. Yeah. So. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to draw uh, a car in perspective. And for that, let's just, let's just start. I'm going to start by, you know, like every project starts here and let's just call it car. I probably have many cars here, so I'm going to call it, call it cars like that. Just so <laughs> I, can, I can distinguish this one from any other one. Today, we're not talking about organizing your files. Yeah, yeah no, at right. this point, you know, I, I have so many projects here that I just, <laughs> that's okay. okay. So that's that's, just, I'm, I'm going to use one. and for the background, I'm going to just use a light gray for now. We can always change that later. And then uh, that's it create project. We're working on 12 frames per second. We may change that later, but that's the default here. So we're going to start with that. Can you, can you make your screen a little brighter uh, for your, for your phone? The phone? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. Perfect. Like that? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the car in uh, like a perspective, but for I like to sketch first. I'm a, I'm a pencil and paper person, so I transfer those techniques in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch the car first. So I'm going to use the pen. I'm going to change the pen to red, just so you so I know that this is just a sketch. I changed the color there, and I'm going to use about uh, 10 pixels wide, right? And for my car, I'm going to draw the, the ground first. I'm going to do this, right? And we don't have to draw it clean right now. It's just we're sketching right now. Okay. So that's the floor, the, the ground. And then I'm going to draw my car. And like I said, we're going to draw it in perspective. And for this, I'm occupying most of the screen because it's always better to draw big and shrink than to draw small and then have to blow it up. Mm. So draw as big as you can first, and then you can go, go down. And the car is going to be based on geometric figures, right? It's, it's all geometry at first when you're sketching something, right? So I, I can make my car sort of, this is going to be my car. Right? Oh, cool. and, like, and like I said, it's, it's perspective, right? We're, we're drawing it with two, um, in, in a, a this kind of perspective where you, you can see two sides of the object. So anyway, <clears throat> then after you have the main uh, shapes, you can always start drawing the details, you know, and then of course we can do all the other looks parts. like a Tesla truck. Like a what? Like a Tesla truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, so very, very basic. Right, very basic, but it's a, it's like a a very uh, kind of like a wide angle look to it, right? So, and, and like I said, this is just my sketch. So I allow myself to just draw without being too worried about um, like did I draw this line correctly or not? Just have a feel for the for the three D that we're trying to accomplish here. 
So <clears throat> I have the sketch now, then I will on a separate layer. So let's go to the layers. We go to the layers. I create layer number two. And on layer number two, I am going to be drawing um, the clean version of this car, right? And so with the sketch that I have, I can then, uh, and then again, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but we try to do the best we can with this, right? So. Kathy, how's the chat going? Any anybody um, have any questions in the meantime? The chat is um, blowing up. It, it is blowing up. I think <laughs> people are definitely interested in this angle. They, I think people are surprised it came out so well. <laughs> At first, it was like people were like, "What is this?" But they're like, "Oh wow, that looks really good." <laughs> I know. I, I I thought he was doing the side of the car, but not in that corner per perspective, you know? And then when, yeah. you adding, when you start adding the light, I was like, oh, okay. So, and of yeah. course, if, you, if you're, you know, if you have all the time in the world, you can definitely um, have, like, the details um, and all that. But we're, we're sort of working um, a quick lesson here as much as yeah. we can. So, so you, you said you were six years old when you started liking uh, to the Correct. Anime. So, so my cousin, I don't know how, but my cousin um, was either taking a art courses or something, and he showed me some animation, some flip books that he had made, and uh, I was blown away. Mm. I thought it was like, but here's the thing: I, when I was little, I saw the the movie Fantasia. Uh, Disney's yeah. movie and then when I saw that movie I was like oh my god like I want to do that I, it was not just the like I, I want to I want to watch cartoons but I was like, I like you knew. yeah yeah so um so yeah and then my cousin showed me the the um the animation and that's how I got hooked up I, I was like oh my god like this is so cool right awesome. okay so here I have an you guys are going to forgive me if the lines are not perfect, but I'm trying to work with. Um, Listen, it's way um, better than what I could with, do with time here. I'm trying to all of us watching is, you know, what we want to do is not be perfect. We just want to improve. That's it. Yeah. And 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 the, the whole point here yeah. is that you can you can take the time to to draw. Right. You can take the time to draw these things. But what we're going to learn here is the animation part. Right. So drawing, you can draw any car you want. Some people may have even better, like in one of my classes, uh, we were drawing like a spaceship one time and then this little girl um, drew a spaceship in the shape of a cat. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like I would have never thought of drawing a spaceship. I'm, I'm like all Star Wars and, and, you know, that kind of thing. And she came up with like a spaceship that looked like a cat. And I thought that was like the coolest thing. <laughs> oh, well, the chat thinks you're awesome at drawing. So, um, okay. I, I'm, I'm trying here, but yeah, you know, it's, you're doing it's, great. Uh, perspective we're, we're, we're working. I think it's okay. I think it looks great. Too bad. Very cool. Yeah. Ah. Take your time though. Don't, don't worry about yeah. Don't feel rushed. Kali, really. as, as Luis does this, can you send me the promo code? Because I want us to, to tell people about it, but I need that so I can put it in the description. Yes. So. Okay, so I have the car here and, oh, let me just finish some more details That's looking here. good, by the way. Ooh. All right. I'm going to switch music. Let's do it. <laughs> Free music. All right. So something like that. And then I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to color it. Right. So we're going to use the paint bucket. And let's see. I'm going to get like a blue. And because it's, because it's in, in a, uh, a perspective, you have two sides of the car. So you can decide when you have two sides, you decide, okay, which side do I want to have the light? So let's say in this, in this particular case, we're going to have the light 
coming from this side. So that's the one thing that changes a little bit when, when you're drawing perspective, you can play with different colors. So I'm gonna just save this blue here and save another blue that's going to be darker. I didn't even know you could tap down and, and create a palette. See, I learned so Oh, much. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, look at me showing the flip clip people new things it? about their own map. <laughs> hey, it's, see, this, so, is, this is a team effort. So, yeah, yeah so I have Everybody makes three clip. different. I have the, the uh, uh, blue, like my natural color. Then I have a dark one, and then I have a lighter one. So, oh, and if, if you guys didn't, well, for those who don't know that you can save your own uh, palette, palette, color palette here, you can just pick any color and then just tap on one of these squares, but just hold it and the color will save right there. So anyway, I'm gonna use the normal blue for now, my, uh, my paint bucket, and I'm gonna color the car this way for the other side what i'm going to do on this side is i'm going to i'm going to use a the darker blue oh okay so so you can you can start seeing like the difference and you can see that just because i added one color on one side and a different a lighter color on this side you can actually see like oh yeah i can tell that the light is coming from this side right so <clears throat> And we're going to do the same thing for, um, let's see, let's uh, add a gray for the bumper here, a little darker. It's our a gray for the bumper. And then we're going to use the same gray here. Sweet. That looks good. I don't know if I'm going too fast. I don't know if people can follow, but I know we're sort of like. Um, but so far, what, what we're understanding is you, you first start with the actual image in one frame. We haven't even started the animation. We part. haven't started animating yet. Right. No, and, and the, the thing is that this animation is gonna have very few frames. That's it's gonna cool. be a loop, but it's it's gonna have few frames, but it's gonna have a lot of movement. And that's what I, I'm trying to show in this one is that you can add a lot of movement to this animation just by um, doing some tricks, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going at that. So, so let's see. Okay, now I have the, let's color the wheels, the tires. Again, this side is gonna be lighter and then the side under the car is gonna be darker. This one we can use the Adi, same. what do you think if, if we, well, he does it, people, people that are joining us in, in animating also, uh maybe they could use like a hash hashtag like flip a clip hangout or something and then yeah. we can see what they made based on I'd what Luis that. let's let's start doing that for every call like just whatever's going on but yeah guys cool. okay i'm gonna put this in the caption in the chat but let's use if you guys are following along or or if you know you're animating just something on your own right now but you're coming to this hangout use the hashtag and i'm gonna put it right here um hashtag flip a clip hang out um all right so if you use this then we'll definitely like we did in our last chat last show we featured some of the ones from the one before and we can put it on our social media and everything so use this when you post it and we'll go find them which will be awesome i can't wait to see okay yeah. so here's here's uh where i'm gonna start doing the the gradient trick that i talked about okay because oh, cool. there's no there's no gradient uh, tool for this, but you can, you know, if, if, if you uh, pay attention here, you're going to learn a trick or two. So um, if I want to do like a, a gradient, what I'm going to do is, let's say I want some some highlights on this car. I want to I want a, a little bit of uh, a highlight here. Uh, that's but but I don't want a hard line. I don't want I don't want this right. I, if if I don't want that. I don't want that hard line, although it might look good, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. So for right. the gradient, what I do is I lower the opacity of the paint, right? Almost all the way down. So you barely can see the paint when you when you color. So 
let's say the opacity lower it all the way down and then you the uh the point of the pen we're gonna make it really big like 50. okay and what we do with that is now i have to stroke many many times over and over but i can control how i want that color oh, cool. and, you, and you start seeing that awesome. it, it starts showing let me make it a little smaller that's a great hack that's a I really see a good little one. reflection there of your window can you put it down oh. a little more yeah, yeah there like you go. This. Thank you. okay yeah. so nice. so yeah that's the you know it's a yeah like kali said it's it's a hack but yeah. it does work so you can add like softness to it that way right if i want to do that the same thing let's say with the um in the windows i can use let's say white and i can do the same thing what um direction should you be going when you're now changing to the different angle of the car so now you're going are you always like what lines are you following when you're doing that glare uh it you know it's kind of um i would say i don't i don't want to say random because you can okay. definitely uh you can definitely be more realistic when you're doing reflections you can you know do a lot of realism to it but yeah. right now i'm just you know i'm just adding you know some reflection that doesn't necessarily have to have a, a specific direction okay right? cool. let me ask you this if i if i want to learn how to do perspective what do you suggest for somebody new you know like you did the perspective of a car in your head you knew what it how you will start yeah well if i were to do that and i'm gonna take a piece of paper here right so what i'm thinking i'm thinking this right i have a horizon let me see if i can if, okay and i have these two points and then you basically if you want to do your car here you you go like this like this you know you have those two lines and you work from there you work your shapes from there right oh yeah always going back so, to those points okay. correct so if, even if i if i add another piece up here right i do the same thing i those two points are your focal points and they are the most important uh points of your drawing. So <clears throat> that's basically what the perspective looks like, right? So Super you have cool. these two points that are the basis of, of every line that you're gonna draw, and then you just go from there. And, and I always start with geometric shapes, and then I take it to uh, like the details. All right, cool. so, so that's, that's great. Thank you for yeah. sharing that. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So now that I have the car here and, and I'm going to do more perspective in this project. So um, now my car is way too big. It's occupying the whole screen. So now I'm going to make it smaller by using the lasso tool. I'm just going to say, wait, let me, let me, let me tell you a hack for that lasso tool. Okay. Double, double tap on the lasso tool. Oh, you thank you. Yeah. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> awesome. Man. Oh, see, now you're so teaching me something. That it's like you're in that frame, it will go right. layer. It will, it will so go. now I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to reduce my car and I'm going to lower it like this. So my, my, because, because of the angle, I'm technically looking at the car kind of like from the ground up. Right. So I want the car to be lower. Right. And then, um, I can add, for example, let's see, I'm going to go to my pen again <clears throat> and I'm just going to add, that's, that's too dark. Let me see if I can do like that, a little smaller. And then what I'm going to add is this shadow here. Okay. So just to, the shadow helps ground the object because if the object if when you add the shadow right there, the object looks like, okay, it's touching the ground. If there's no shadow, you don't know where the ground is. So the shadow makes a big difference, even though it's kind of like, oh, um, it's just a shadow. Well, it's not just a shadow. It helps the perception of the scene, right? So I'm going to finish a couple more things with the car. I'm going to add. Wow. It's crazy how 
like how different it looks just with those little hacks you did like exactly so much cleaner and so much more real so you know and and then and then you can start playing well i want to do like a hard hard highlight on this so then i can you know, add little hard highlights like that and i can add one here i can add another one here you know just just in different spots just to make the the car look a little more shiny you know so somebody like my hack yeah that's what i was asking the, the audience what they're <laughs> yeah oh. that's a that's a good one we have a really good question from the audience from Mark. Uh -huh. Mark um i think i think we can answer this one marcos if you want to take it what is that okay. oh flip a clip yeah, yeah. <laughs> flip a clip like flip. all right a clip it's it's on the name of the channel okay. okay great all right so now that i have the car let's say i'm done with the drawing i i just you know i'm 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 not gonna add anything more but for to go to the next step i do have to have a finished car because i'm gonna copy the same car i'm gonna duplicate these frames and i'm gonna use the same image so we need to make sure that you on the first frame you draw the car finished as you want it and then you can uh, duplicate the frame so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go here on the plus sign and the timeline and select duplicate last frame and i'm going to make let's say we're going to have five frames in total okay so wait, before you continue go back uh -huh. again to press and hold that creating a new frame yeah. Have to start this again. Just go ahead and press and hold the the frame. Yes. This is something that probably the majority of of us never get to it. Uh huh. So this is important that by default, guys, when you press a new frame, it really puts an empty frame. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, Correct. And, You're absolutely right. Yeah, and I totally forgot about the options that we added here because yeah, this is yeah. more for more advanced so I, users. But this is great. Correct. Yeah. So I, I always double check because, yeah, you're right. By default, it it uh, it creates an empty frame. And then this is this press, is the hack. This is the hack that for you guys, this is great because instead of having copy and paste, copy and paste on each frame. Correct. Correct. Boom. Yeah. So now we have five frames of the car, right? We have and now what I'm what I'm going to do now is First of all, I'm going to animate. I'm going to add some details just to animate. And we don't need to animate the whole car to make it look like it's moving. So all we need to do is animate. I'm going to show you with the pen. I'm going to select white. Uh, or let's say a, a little a gray. And I'm going to make this pen very small, about six pixels. OK, and on frame number one, Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do just this. OK, I'm going to do that on the wheels, right? OK, then I'll go to frame number two. And I am going to move those little hashes that I made. I'm just going to move them down just at that. So now they go right here. Now you don't have the onion skin on by default. When somebody it is on, yeah, it is happen. on, but um, because it's because the um, the the color is really dark, uh, and okay. it's not you, you can't not see showing. It. Yeah, it's it's not showing it. Uh, That's cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, this but, is taking shape pretty good. So, I like it. so one two. Okay, so we got that. So now what I have is this, right? Oh, okay. okay. And then on frame number three, I'm going to do the same thing again, further down. And okay, that's kind of like a similar style, like what anime uses, right? Uh, where yes, they, they do. Yeah, uh, they do a lot of what's called, uh, yeah, what is called. Uh, uh, ah, I forget right now. Um, limited cool. animation, which is they basically break down the object in in different parts. Like if if you have a character, 
you basically do the body in one layer and then the arm that you want to move you do it in a different layer so <clears throat> okay so right now what i have is this wow people are blowing up the the chat they're like i can't believe that i never knew how to do a car like this is so cool yeah that's, that's awesome. like optical that's illusion right there right so <laughs> so now you have like a car that it's basically rolling without having to like redraw the wheels or anything like that right so <clears throat> i'm gonna leave that there and then the next thing that i'm going to do is just to add a little more humph to this I'm going to animate the card like it's like it's by vibrating, right? So I'm going to yeah. go and I'm going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to double click there in the lasso tool like I just learned today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm on, um, frame frame number one. I'm going to leave it as is. Frame number two, I'm going to compress the car, oh. but I. If I compress the car right now, this is what happens. It shrinks like in the middle, right? And I don't want that. I want to change the pivot point of the layer, which is this little dot in the middle. I want that pivot point to, I'm going to drag it and put it down here at the level of the ground. So when I compress the car, it compresses this way and the car is still touching the ground right so i'm going to compress it just a little bit yeah that's good you move your anchor point that's correct awesome. and then i'm going to go and frame number three i'm going to do the same thing and i'm going to shrink it just a little bit more than the frame before so right now i have this uh, let me nice. see. We gotta shrink it a little bit more, I think. Yeah. That looks shrink, so good. Shrink it, shrink it a little bit more. Oh, hang on. I should have been animating at the same time. Yeah, I was just. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. All right. So, also in the chat. Well, this is happening. Oh, okay. You guys, everybody's watching. You know, uh, you're, you're seeing like these amazing results. Um, and though this might sound like a shameless plug, but it's not, it, this is it, what Luis is doing. It's amazing. And we've seen, I even went in kind of like a creeper <laughs> in one of his, uh, teaching lessons. And I, I, I went in there and see, like, what he was doing and he had like, I don't know, 30 kids or 20 kids. there teaching them, uh, online, uh, to yeah. do, you know, animation. and it was so cool. So Luis has, and I, I put this in the description uh you might have to refresh uh the youtube page wow look at that look at that yeah so this is what you have now right so, so we so wait, hold on. A, I, I, wanna, a, I wanna tell everybody really quick that if you refresh uh, your page in the description you're gonna see a link uh to luis lessons they're in spanish but soon it will he will have them in in english Yes. But I'm sure if you follow along, you'll be able to see that. Um, but there's a there's also a promo code in there. You flip a clip, and you'll get it for only five dollars. But anyways, I'll let you continue there. Um, yeah. It's in the description, guys. All right. So now we have the the car. We have the wheels moving, and we also have that little vibration of of the car. That it's it just gives a lot more feel to the animation without you know a lot of work. So. Um, the last thing that I want to do about this animation, I, because we are working with the perspective, I do want to teach uh, a little bit of uh, like how to duplicate. I want to do uh, like street poles that are passing by. And for that, I'm going to teach another really cool way to, to do this. So... Um, Right now, I, I'm going to get rid of the first layer because we don't need it anymore. It's, it's, I'm going to just, the, the layer that has the sketch of the car, we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to create another layer on top of this. We're going to move this layer to the bottom later. But for now, I'm going to do it at the top. And I'm going to create with the pen in red because it's going to be a sketch first. I'm going to show you guys how to 
create perspective and how to to equally distance the poles, right? So I'm going to do, let's see, that's the edge of the street over there. And we're working with, with this angle, more or less, right? Yeah. And then let's say this is going to be, um, we're going to make the first position of the pole is going to be here. Now, how, and on, if I have perspective, how do I duplicate more poles in a way that they are equally distanced? And I mean equally distanced in perspective, because you can, you can measure them like this and add another one, but they're not going to be equally distant. So what you do here is you break this two lines, you create a third line in the middle, like this. Right, you have three lines now, and then you create the second position where you want your pole to be, and it's going to be, let's say, we're going to put it here. Oh, let's do it a little further. Okay, so we got it here. Okay, so how do we create recreate this distance? Obviously, the perspective is going to shrink the distance right. every time. So that's why the the line in the middle is four, because now when you trace a diagonal from this point to this point it it gives you the point where you should draw the other line wow right and then from this to this same thing you draw the other line okay should we retire the app from here now um, should we yeah. it's like <laughs> this is a great hack yeah this is it this is no the need to create a perspective ruler yeah so yeah. exactly so um so this is the way to create perspective. And as you can see, the distance from pole to pole gets shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks as, as it goes farther away. So that's the way to do it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this frame, copy it and paste it in all my frames like this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is that's that's a layer that is a um, it's going to be just a sketch layer. So I'm going to go over here, make a new layer. And then on this layer, I'm going to draw the in black. I'm going to draw my street poles and I'm going to animate them. Right. So it's one. We're just highlighting different. Um... Uh, Correct. So it's, 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 yeah. So now I only color this one. Then I go to frame number two. And I'm going to color this one. Then frame number three. The next one. Oh. Frame number four. Cool. The next one. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of frames. I'm, I probably should have. Uh, That's should, right. Should nice. have Are you familiar more. with Among Us? Yes, the, I am. The chat is requesting. Well, guess what? The chat is going crazy about Among Us. I yeah. Think it's for one of those characters. Yeah. It kind of looks so, like. I think next week that we should uh, bring to the live show something to do with, with Among Us. Like, even if it's a really quick thing, just. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to add a couple more frames here because um, I'm sort of running out of frames. So let me copy this. Uh, let's see. Uh oh, Marcos, but look at this. Our okay. fave girl. If she well, says no among us. Yeah, and then I saw the other group that talked about Sonic, which that's the one that you worked on last time. I uh, did a bunch of Sonic tutorials. Check out our social and, media and, guy. So that one is pretty popular too. So it was the fight was amongst us and Sonic. So we like both. No fighting. No fighting, but I <laughs> Coco. She has a lot of respect in the community, I will say. And if she's saying no, <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay, so that's my car there. And I'm going back to this. And I have one, two, three, four, uh, five. I'm gonna, let's see. I just want to make sure I'm drawing at the correct layer. And, and that's it. So I can turn this one off. And then I have that movement, right? Nice. But I want to move that layer behind the car now. Okay. 
<laughs> Wait, I think I have I have a drawing that has two. Hang on one second. This doesn't go here. It goes into the next one. Now we are good. Okay, and then you can you know you can I can draw another line that just is the let's see if I draw another another layer here and that's going to be my let's say like the street level i can do this oh cool everyone too we're definitely going to be posting these on our social media so i'm going to go and find any of yours um in the audience if you're following along so make sure to use this hashtag or send it to us um, and we have that that's awesome so, so, I mean, we can we can add all the details. We can do the same thing. Instead of using street poles, we can do trees. We can do like all kinds of things. But that's the the idea is that you use that uh, that grid that I didn't read before. So um, the the grid is very good. You know. So remember, it's it's about. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here again just to refresh. So if you have perspective like that, you draw the first object, you draw the second object, you draw a line in the middle, and then you go diagonal, draw a line, diagonal, draw a line. And that guarantees that your perspective is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Awesome. Great hack. Wow, there, we were full of hacks today. Yeah. So, so yeah, I think, uh, uh, yeah. So that's going to be the the sauce for today. Perspective, <laughs> the, the awesome gradient. Work, Luis. Yeah. 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 It, I hope you guys was, liked it. This was amazing. Everybody loves it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you you crushed it. You're such a good teacher. You are. You really are, Mr. Flip a Clip. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Thank right? You. Yeah. No, um, I, I, I love doing this. I love teaching. I love um, just, you know, helping people. It's more, more than teaching. I think it's more like sharing. Yeah. I don't see it as teaching. I see it more as sharing. And, and some people need and you have. So you share it with, you know, the people that that actually need the information. And that's yeah. it. And, and with this, this is, I think, a good segue, you know, guys, for um, if if you want, you know, we, we like to share with everyone, whoever has, like in this case, Luis, we want to make sure that you guys uh, get to know him and maybe go and, and, and participate in his lessons, you know? Um, and we put in the description uh, a promo code and a link. And though it's in Spanish, you could actually right click and, and hit uh, translate to English. Yes, but either great. way, maybe it's more for, uh, but soon Luis is going to have, um, yeah, Kali, can you put the, his Instagram? Yeah, yeah cause you can, and Instagram is kind of like an extension of my office. And that is to me like, you know, it's, it's open, just reach out. If you have any questions, I help people out all the time. People ask me things about animation and I, I try to help as many as I can. So, um, if you. Uh, can put that somewhere. Luis Medrano Experimental. There it is. Luis yeah. Underscore Medrano underscore Experimental. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, guys, ch check it out. And a lot of people were asking about the Discover section. What what we're going to be doing is we're so close to make that live with new tutorials and content, and um, we'll definitely. We, we need to make this animation. Adrian is watching and he was suggesting like, hey, can people get access to this animation that you did, uh, Luis? You know, so maybe uh, you want, if you want, you can send it to me and I'll make it available so people can download it. Oh, okay. Easy. Yeah, great. To, to look Absolutely. at that and play with it. Uh, I don't yeah. know if you guys are interested on that. And we'll put it in the, in the description as soon as um, that link is available. And yeah, we, we need to have you back again. Uh, Absolutely. Whenever, sure. whenever you guys want, um, I'll, I'll be here. Yeah. I have this tons of little hacks and little things that I can share. So 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so again, you know, we're we're super thankful. Um, I don't know, Kali, if you want to um, um, add anything, like what's like, do you, I feel like I want to go and try it out now. I yeah, like I'm, I'm inspired. Also. Yeah, no, I think absolutely. Um, this was awesome, and yeah, I I would definitely say check out his page, Luis Madrano Experimental, because I when I first was working too. I swear his page, like just going through it taught me so much. Um, not that I'm the best, I still have a lot to learn, but <laughs> I say for a beginner animator, it makes such a difference. And um, again, they are in Spanish, those courses, but I, someone who doesn't speak a lick of Spanish was yeah. fully able to follow along. So um, we're gonna work on getting those for you guys in English too, but as of now, still very easy to follow along. So don't worry, definitely check it out. Yeah. yeah and and, and we have uh, more more surprises coming uh, in what August. We're in July now. Holy moly! But um, yeah. So again, guys, we'll make sure that the link is available for you to download the specific project so you can see. Um, and we'll try to also we'll talk with Luis, but we'll try to make sure that there's maybe one of his tutorials available in the discover section and at least you get to experiment and see one of them and if you want more then you can go you know uh, yeah I, and, and i have a tons of of lessons i mean it's 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 always a challenge to uh present one because you have time constraints right and so so but if when i'm doing tutorials i you know if it takes me an hour to do it or if it takes me an hour and a half or whatever it's uh, I try not to make them that long, but you know, you can, you can work things on your own time. If it, you know, I have like water splashing and things like that, that I, I could send you that one. That will be a cool yeah. one. Cause I'm, I'm sure that will be like, uh, yeah, I think I have let, it. Around let, let's do it. And maybe we'll have it ready by next week, guys. We'll, uh, on our next live next week, we'll, um, hopefully we can announce that the discover section is available to everybody on Android and iOS. Kali is working really hard on, on finishing a couple of tutorials too, but yes. Um, yes. yeah. So Luis, thank you so much for your time. We, we truly appreciate it. Uh, you're an inspiration, like people were saying in the chat. Yeah. And oh, thank you. We wanna, we wanna have you back again. Uh, Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, guys, so the story much. that Luis has in, the, the schools and places that he's reaching out. Uh, there's all kinds of stories. So we'll definitely need to bring you back so we can hear more of those. Yeah, yeah, uh, a lot. Definitely. All right. Well, thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, yeah. I'll happily come back anytime. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And Luis, very, stay very on. cool crowd. Yeah, yes. stay on. Like, don't the, we're going to do the sign off and then we'll bring you back. So don't, don't leave. I'm just going to turn your camera off for now. Okay. Um, so yeah, Khalid, this was amazing. I, yeah, this was awesome. We need to do yeah. more of this. Um, yeah, I learned like four hacks today from like, from you guys and from the chat. So we have to do this yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. 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 So okay. So what we're gonna do, guys, is make sure you you subscribe and and turn on those notifications. Turn on the notifications in the app if you haven't already. Um, and we really appreciate you joining us. Uh, maybe we can shout out some people here. Uh, somebody Let's... said here, bye, flip a clip. Oh, uh, bye. Uh, what else? Let's see, we have Marius Jr., Cameron Delaney, Gert, Thank you so much. Nice. <laughs> Thank you all. You guys are awesome. This was a really fun yeah. one today. And we'll definitely do more where we have uh, people coming in to teach you guys for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I will sign off here. Um, and Kali, stay in. Don't don't leave us yet. Um, but thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.